Welcome to this week's episode of MacGasm. We have apps for you to help you find a job this week. Yes. I don't know if it's going to help though, but... They are going to help. So we're going to be looking at Pocket CV, Mock Job Interview, and... Monster. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pale. <laughs> So in case you guys don't know, I'm Brandon Schnell. I'm Susie Kendrick. And Susie, how do we find jobs this week? Well, I think we need to start, we start by taking note of all the companies that had layoffs this summer. So every company. Motorola. So if you're still employed, Rims. Congrats. There was the whole Apple debacle in the UK. Fiasco. Extravaganza. Everybody. The, the economy now has gone to the shitter. Right to the crapper. It's over. Just quit. Just go riot. <laughs> anyway, the point being, at some point in your life, you're going to need to look for a job. Maybe not. Maybe you come from a wealthy family. If you, you do, that's awesome. That's awesome. But the majority of people are going to need to look for jobs. So we're looking at apps that will help you do so. So the first one I'm looking at is one called Pocket CV. I'm sure. What? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's basically an app for your iPhone where you can create and manage and send your resumes on the phone. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Oh, this got off the rails. Just keep going. I think he's laughing at my index cards <laughs> because I write very detailed information. I just want to be prepared. Yeah, she's just prepared. Unlike me, I am not prepared for this. So if you're preparing to look for a job, you might want to use Pocket CV. Yep. It's really cool app. It actually lets you um, pull in your LinkedIn profile and you can apply for jobs on the go. So say you're riding the bus or riding transit or you're at a coffee shop or you're doing something. You're probably not doing any of those if you're unemployed. You're probably sitting at home, watch TV. When you're looking for a job <laughs> and you're on the go, you can use this app and it can actually pull in your LinkedIn profile and you can select which skills you'd like to put on the resume and your, you know, your bigger skill set, your, your profile, and it'll actually lay it out in a PDF resume for you. And from the app, you can directly email the job and put in a cover letter. So it's a quick way to, to get those resumes out there because it's, sometimes it's a game of numbers if you're not into networking. And so what if you don't use LinkedIn? Then you can like just... Like most people in the world. Okay, so then if you don't... Because we know LinkedIn is where social networks go to die. Like just people don't use it. People don't communicate on it. So I if you don't agree. use LinkedIn, it's a great tool. LinkedIn is a great tool for networking it. and getting yeah. to know people, especially if you're looking for a job and you want to know who are you know the hiring managers at certain companies. I would suggest you use LinkedIn. Um, but anyway, if you don't use it, you can actually just input your information directly into the app. So you can't import a resume. No. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> You can import a resume from LinkedIn, so just go make a well, LinkedIn profile and maintain LinkedIn. it from... Nobody uses LinkedIn. doesn't matter. If you're just using it to upload data, what's the difference? Because if you already have your resume written in a doc and it's sitting on your computer... <laughs> Am I right? So, uh, <laughs> this, and this app is two ninety nine. so don't even get you started on that. So for the rest of the, uh, the world, who just use the, the internet like normal people and don't use LinkedIn. I don't understand how this is And you, you, you use Monster to find your job. Um, and you already have a profile created on Monster. Most people do that when they look for a job. I've never created a profile on Monster. Have you ever searched on Monster for a job? Um, I've looked, but I've never found uh, one that I've applied uh, for. Can Pocket CV find your jobs? Pocket CV is a tool <laughs> to apply for said job once you find it. But you got to find it. Yeah, so let's use Monster. So create your Monster profile. Don't use LinkedIn. <laughs> So you go on Monster and you can search for any job you want, wherever you want. You can, when you're on the go, back to on the go, um, you can actually save it for later. You can apply or you can apply later if you want. Um, you know what's interesting if you're, is that there's also jobs, job postings on LinkedIn. Uh, we don't, LinkedIn I'm just sucks. I'm just saying. They're a company and their whole strategy sucks. Anyways, so... You use Monster, you can do your searches, you can save your searches, you can apply right away once you've already set up your Monster profile. 
So if you see the job already, just hit apply. You don't have to export or import from LinkedIn or do all that shit or go find the job. You can just do it all through Monster. Um, very simple tool, free to use. So you don't have to pay for it. Uh, it's not two ninety nine because you're already poor because you don't have a job. So there's a good way to find your jobs. Um, anyway, so moving forward, so you've got your pocket CV on the go. You're good to go with that. Then you're browsing jobs on Monster. And have already applied. And have applied, and you get called for the elusive job interview. And usually people are, are nervous for a job interview. Um, and you always get those really awkward questions. So I found a, a new app. It's called Mock Job Interview, and it actually has a database of 150 of the most commonly asked interview questions. And the cool thing is, is that it'll ask the question and then you'll hit respond. <laughs> I was responding to a question. <laughs> Take it off. So you'll get a question like, who has influenced you the most in your life and why? And you hit respond. And it People will actually ask that in an interview? Yeah. Apparently. Oh wow. I've anyway, never been asked that. So then you record yourself, you know, answering the question as you would if you were actually in front of an interviewer for that specific position. So then you can watch yourself back to kind of see, you know, are you not expressing yourself clearly? Are you are you stuttering a lot? Are you are you using one particular word over and over again? I do that with the word basically. Do you have really? a word that you use a lot? Um if I'm nervous, I'm like, um, um, Okay, so you could be an ummer. I'm an ummer. Um, and then what I really like is there's the option to upload your video to Facebook. So if you want to get your friends' feedback. That's probably the best thing to do with that because if you're doing it yourself and looking at yourself, you're going to be fine. Like when you do it in front of a mirror, your, your, your interviews or your mock interviews, you're, you're just going to be like, oh, I know the answers and it's going to be easy, right? You mm -hmm. play it over and over in your head and it just becomes natural and easy for you. But when you get put it out to the public for people to comment on, that's when you're getting nervous. You're going, holy shit, people are going to comment on this and be like, you did this wrong, this wrong, this wrong. They're just going to rip you apart. Yeah. Um, so I think that that's, that's good that you can do that. There's also the option to email, and it has a pre-written email that says, hey, I'm applying for a job. Can you take a look at, at my answer, answer to this question and let me know what you think? So maybe you have a job mentor or just someone else that you know you really trust at a higher level that you're not interviewing for a job at their company, but you can get their feedback. You can send them the link. And they can say, yo, you suck, or yo, that's cool, or just yo, yo. I find the best thing to do, though, um, if you're preparing for your, your interviews and you, you get nervous um, in your interviews, the best thing is just to do more and more interviews. Just apply for jobs and just keep doing interviews. Because after a while, when I started doing when I was applying for a bunch of jobs, I, I did so many interviews that after a while, I, you just kind of get that I don't care attitude, mm -hmm. and you don't go in there nervous. You yeah. just, you're more relaxed and you're like, I'm probably not going to get this job, so. Yeah. And you don't say that, but you just like, you, you're a little, you're way more relaxed and way more chill and you've already heard this question eight times already, so you know how you're going to answer it. Mm -hmm. So my best advice would probably just to actually just apply for jobs and just do a ton of interviews. If you don't get the jobs, no big deal. There'll be another opportunity. But so there's also there's also the catch where you'll apply for a job and you get really excited about it and you're like, I really want this position. And then you'll go in and be so nervous and... You know, but that's why. That's why. That's why. That's what I'm saying. I agree with you yeah. that you you have to just take it with a grain of salt, do your homework, go unprepared. But you know, sometimes people, even in interviews, they'll seem so over eager. Oh, like this is the greatest place yeah. ever. Oh, I will do anything to work here, and it's just desperation, and it doesn't but, come across well. And but that's why, like my take on it, what I was doing, and, and it was bad, and I don't recommend this. But I was applying to so many jobs that when you get a call back, and I'm like, oh, it's your interest in working for you, us, and we're, I'm like, yep no idea who it is and they're like oh can you come down for an interview tomorrow at this place and you're like holy shit what, what building is this and you're like oh okay it's stats canada and then i'm like oh shit i don't know i don't know what i was really applying for you just lose track of it all and it, that was helping me in interviews but i don't really recommend it because yeah there's probably an app to track how many jobs you've applied for and what they're what they're but because you apply for so many because there's so many jobs out there and i'd actually like to see you in a job interview yeah, I just I'm chill. Like I don't I don't give a shit anymore. But I've heard stories about you in job interviews actually. What? Yeah. From who? I don't know. There might be a video or something that supports this claim. Well, we should go to that interview and see what happened because I think I nailed it. <laughs> <coughs> Good afternoon, um, Brienne. 
Is Bre it? Brennan. Oh, I was expecting a woman. Oh. Hmm. Uh, Brennan Schnello, uh, what job are you applying for? Um, janitor. Janitor? That's interesting. We're a, a men's naked wrestling club, so, I mean, that's your preference. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, what would you say your best worst attribute based on your weakest skill set uh, defined by your greatest success is? Sweeping? Indeed. Excellent. Okay. Um, um, Br Brunello, how would you define sexual harassment? Um, what you're doing now? Mm. Is it hot in here? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you work out? You can't tell? How often do you work out? What machines do you like at the gym? Yeah, like pistons. <laughs> oh, uh, dumbbells? Mm. Yes, those are good too. Um, okay, final question. Um, you know, I, I need to know um, how many sweeping RPMs <laughs> per minute? Two? Really? I would have thought with those muscles in my faster. Are you laughing at me? Laughing with you. Laughing with you. I'm not laughing. Okay. And when are you available? As soon as possible. For an evening. Mm. Excellent. You have a job. Congratulations. Thank you. My hands are so sweaty and so hot. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week's episode. We hope you guys learned a little, and despite our little bickering and bantering, um, in regards to LinkedIn. Um, we hope you guys can find some jobs. We know a lot of people are unemployed out there, so we wish you all the best and good luck. And uh, if you want to find me, I'm twitter.com slash Brennan Schnell. And I'm twitter.com slash Susie Kendrick. And a great way to find a job is to network because it's not what you know, it's who you know, and that's honest. That's right. So macasm.net, macasm.tv, do it up so we can stay employed. Wicka wicka. It's so hot. <laughs> I don't know when I became British. Yeah. <laughs>